here at Michael's Restaurant in Midtown Manhattan, where today there was a free Super Bowl party. Go Giants! Go Giants! Yeah! Inside was filled with A-listers. But outside we found some protesters. We're the fans. We're the most important thing. We don't have a silver spoon. We don't have a fat wallet. We're not allowed inside these big parties. So why would the Giants do something that didn't include the fans like this? It's just not fair. The group describing themselves as true Blue Giants fans complains that there is no party for the people. The Jets weren't even in the Super Bowl last year, and they had a party that was open up to the fans, and theirs is closed off strictly just for, you know, the owners. It's, it's, again, it's about the bottom line for them and not the fans, and the fans are the ones that really make everything happen. See what I mean, Georgie? At this afternoon's festive luncheon, media elites like Kathy Lee and her husband Frank Gifford, Regis Philbin, and Brian Williams enjoyed cheeseburgers, salads, and little cookies with the Giants logo emblazoned across the top. I ate my Giants cookies. Yeah. Hey! Obliged by sending out a platter of french fries, ketchup, and mustard. Insider or outsider, everyone here today hopes that the Giants bring the trophy back home to New York. For the New York Post, I'm Amber Sutherland.